Fellas, how do you make your vault go from this on Destiny Item Manager to now look like this? Uh. With so many moving parts in Destiny 2, managing all those things can be a nightmare. Believe me, I know. Hell, even Dado has given up on me. But here recently, we have discovered how to make life easier when it comes to inventory management within Destiny Item Manager, but also when it comes to managing duplicate items like Ergo Sumrolls, exotic class items. With websites like Blue Ingram, Destiny Item Manager, and Armor Picker, it truly is never been easier to manage all of these things and if you're a console player and you're like cross i ain't doing all of this i'm fine i've been doing it my way my way is good enough i beg you for the love of the traveler to just give one of these tips a go because truly they make the game a much better experience now for those that are not familiar with destiny item manager aka dim this is a third party software that integrates with destiny 2 to handle all sorts of data regarding your account. Yes, it is completely safe. No, this is not sponsored. The short of it is, is that you can use this website as an extension within your browser that can manage your in-game inventory. You can see your vaults, you can see your other characters, your inventories, your abilities, all your loadouts. You can even save loadouts beyond the loadout capacity that's present in game. Now, these are things that I think many of you are already familiar with when it came to dim. Everything we're gonna show you here, it's gonna go over how to turn your entire vault and collection of loot into this pristine organized assortment of absolute god rolls or in my case these 12 origin stories now i want to start by looking at our weapons most of our time spent inside of our inventories is when we're dealing with these and dim is very accommodating so here inside of dim we can move our weapons to and from our vault as well as between characters now where this gets very nice is when we click on and then inspect that weapon once we've done this you can see all of the stats the perks with mods on it it's mass work even the cosmetics that you're using you can also change what what perks and mods you have equipped right here in dim by just clicking on each option but we can go deeper into a specific weapon by clicking on its name this brings up everything there is to know about a weapon we still have all the stats and other data and now we can see every possible perk option you can also preview each perk to see our stat changes in real time and if you're looking for more details on what everything does you can hover over them to read their in-game descriptions as well as community insights for example hovering over rampage shows us that the buff lasts for 4.5 seconds and what specific damage increase we can expect from each stack. Now granted, websites like D2Foundry or LineGG is perfect for tracking down all of this information. What makes Dim good though, is just exploring what you currently have in your arsenal, which is even more amazing because Dim has an ability where you can click to those websites directly. For instance, if you like D2Foundry, which showcases range fall off, you can click on it right here to be taken straight to that website. Now looking at what else you can do with your weapons, we get this fly out with a couple of options. Tagging allows us to do exactly that, which allows us to better organize our vaults, and we'll definitely come back to this when we start talking about that process. Now, the next option is toggling a weapon as locked or unlocked. This works exactly the same as in-game, meaning if there is a gun roll there that you do not want to accidentally delete, fellas, you can lock it literally right here from dim. We also have a compare button. This function is especially helpful when you're getting a lot of rolls of a specific weapon. So essentially, we click on that and then have this window here. We have our selected weapon, Eminence in this case, on the far left. Then we have all the other roles of this weapon, including our adepts. Here we can see each role with its stats and perks, and Dim will also change the colors to reflect whether a stat is the best, equal, or worse than any of the roles present. But here you can also take this compare window and start altering what the selected weapon is compared to. This right now is just other roles of the exact same weapon. But for this example, we can look at other strand SMGs as well as SMGs in the same slot, SMGs in the same slot with the exact frame, all legendary SMGs, and then just all SMGs. This allows you to get a broad comparison of everything that you have in your vault. Now back to this menu. We have the loadout button, which is where we can make a loadout, starting with the weapon as the base, but we'll get to loadouts in just a second. Now the next button is the infuse button, which is for finding items that this can be infused into or items that can be infused into it. And then we have these various buttons, which are vaulting an item or equipping and moving it to certain characters. You also have the triage tab, which can show you what loadouts the selected item is a part of, which shortcuts to the various different comparison filters that we looked at a second ago. Now, the next part of dealing with singular items is for our armor. Now, if you click on an armor piece, you'll get the same result as with our weapons. And we can do all the same things. You can tag armor, you can compare them, you can make loadouts with them, and you can change all the different equipped mods. Now, where Dim gets especially helpful regarding armor is loadouts. Now, before we speak about loadouts, let me touch on what you can 
do to leverage DIMM's tools to keep your entire vault organized. The main tool that helps us here is the search bar. No, no, very simple, but dude, use this for everything. With this little search bar, you can pretty much look up anything. And the most common case is looking up an item by typing its name in, where you'll have it highlighted for you. But DIMM's search feature goes so much deeper. You can do more broad searches by typing in specific perks, frames, damage types, and much more. Just type it in and you'll see DIMM give an autofill recommendation. For this case, where I want to find all of my solar weapons, DIMM will give me this is solar prompt. And then once I click that, we can see everything in our vault and characters that fall under whatever filter you just typed. Now you can also do the opposite with replacing is with not or by adding a dash in front of the is. Now we're looking at everything but solar items. Now you can also take these searches a step further by adding multiple filters together with and as well as or. In this case, we remove the dash and add an is sign arm, which now only shows us the solar sign arms in our vault. Now this search function is not only fantastic for finding what whatever item you're looking for in the moment, but you can also use them to tidy up your accounts. By using commands like is dupe, you can literally see all duplicate items. From there, you can click on any of them and then open and compare them to each other. By the way, guys, we're gonna have a number of these commands in the description below. So if you just wanna copy and paste some of them and see what happens, by all means, feel free to do so. But commands like dupe allows us to look up just that, duplicate items, and figure out which one we should keep and which ones we should dismantle. And throughout this process, you could be utilizing the tagging function to ensure you're picking out what it is that you want to keep and what it is you want to trash. Matter of fact, if you're doing a deep clean, you can literally tag tons of items as junk. And then you can grab all of those items with a single command, that being tag junk, to make pulling them all into your inventory with a simple input. Now on the topic of dupes, we got to talk about what we've been relying on on the most when it comes to managing our exotic class items. This is the other third-party website called Ingram.Blue. Don't worry, guys. It's completely safe. There's all kinds of stuff here on this website. Dado's even done it with us when testing our knowledge of our vault. You've got quizzes for yourself on your vault to really test you if you know your vault or not. You can also take tests like how many raid symbols do you remember? But it's this section right here called Catch Em All. This will show us the progress on what roles we have on either Ergo Sum or our Exonic class items, which are really the two items that are the hardest to manage in the game because, well, they're constant duplicates. It's not until you look into the traits themselves that you're able to separate out which is which. And considering how many combinations we have, this is where managing things can be a nightmare. What this section shows us is exactly that. For instance, when pulling up our class items. It shows these check marks of all the different combinations that you have. But then, if it shows two check marks, that means you have two or more items of that same combination. Here's the beautiful thing. Right beneath it, guys, you'll see this option to copy a DIM link. This right here is a godsend. You essentially go back to your inventory on DIM. You paste that command, which is essentially DIM IDs. And what this does is it pulls up all the duplicate items that you have of that exotic class item. Now don't worry, it's not gonna delete the original. These are just the duplicates. Just the duplicates are the only ones you'll be deleting. And after deleting them, you can go back to Blue Ingram and you'll notice that you now have perfect single check marks all the way through. This right here will save you tons of time from having to go through and individually look at each one of these items, which is why I highly advise taking advantage of this. Even if you're looking at your vault and you're like, Cross, I only have 300 out of 700. Why would I need to do this? Well, the main reason why you wanna do this is because there's just so many different class combinations that how do you know what you even have? It's resources like this that allows you to manage not only what you have, but also what you don't have, what you need to be chasing, and then ridding yourself of all those duplicates. And the topic of Ergo Sum. That works in a similar manner, but this one has to be a bit more manual. Essentially, you track down all the rolls you have of each one of your swords, and anytime you see something that shows multiple swords within a single archetype, that being the same frame with the same exotic traits, then you can single out what you want to keep. Normally, when it comes to Ergo Sum, guys, I pretty much always keep everything with Swordmaster's Guard, but that is dependent on the type of sword you're using. And if you're questioning what the god role is for Ergo Sum, feel free to check out both our guide and our reviews. With that being said though, guys, take advantage of Blue Ingram. This makes life so much easier. Now back to Dim. If you copy and paste in those duplicate class items, you can then go back to Dim, paste them in, and then you can proceed to tag them all as junk and then just clear them all out afterwards. Or you can literally just manually drag them to your character and delete them on the spot. Just make sure what you're deleting is in fact 
the exact exotic class items that were pulled up in those IDs. Now, these are some of the more popular uses of the search bar, but you can get very deep here. You can filter by armor stats. You can use the greater than or less than operators to only find armor with totals that you specify. You can filter weapons by kill counts or even what season they released it. And if you're looking for specifics, click this button in the search drop down and it will list literally every available filter and what they're used for. The search bar is an incredibly powerful tool and much more than just finding a specific gun. Now, the next section of dim that you'll find yourself in is in our loadout taps, which is something we've utilized so many times. Here you can see your in-game loadouts at the top and your currently equipped gear and any loadouts you've saved within dim itself. Now, if you don't have any dim loadouts, I definitely recommend starting to save some as they work exactly like our in-game loadouts, but you can save as many as you want rather than just the 12. This is also a great way to share builds with your friends. Now, believe me, I love Mobilytics and Mobilytics to me gives you the best visual representation as well as the ability to include gameplay loops. But dim links allows you to plug and go other people's builds. Don't want to remember everything that needs to go in that build? No problem. Literally just make a dim link. Share it out with one of your friends. Boom, you're done. And how you make a dim link is just creating a loadout right here in dim and then hitting the share button. You can fill it in with whatever you want to fill it in with from your subclasses to your abilities to even your cosmetics, which I hate. Fellas, let's be real. Your drip is terrible. Yet you continue to put it in the dim link. Now, the thing to note is that while filling all of these things out, you have access to the search bar, which means you can apply all those filters that we just went over. But upon saving your first build, you can then equip it right here in dim. You can edit however you like and even share it right there on the spot. Now we need to look at Loadout Optimizer. This tool was made to optimize armor stats for our builds. Now, D2 Armor Picker, for a lot of people, is their favorite. But essentially here, guys, you can optimize exactly what you want as far as stat distribution. You want max resilience, then discipline, then recovery, or whatever. You can do that right here in Loadout Optimizer. Now, Dim has not always been the best, which is why D2 Armor Picker is what most people still use to even this day. And the good thing about D2 Armor Picker is you can literally open that loadout or press of a button after you select everything stat wise exotic wise hell right down to the fragments that you're using within a given subclass because there's stat distributions that change whether it's minus 10 or plus 10 of a single stat you can open that dim link up and you can plug and go directly from there however dim has gotten a bit better so you can also utilize its loadout optimizer as well so choose whichever one you want. Now that we've gotten the loadout tab out of the way, let's talk about some more advanced tips. The first I wanna bring your attention to is the in-game loadout section. By clicking on the three dots, you can see its details, equip it, change its name, and icon, which is a million times easier than how you do it in-game. You can then save it as a dim loadout. You can share it, you can clear it, and all of these options are better tools for managing the in-game loadouts than what Bungie has even given to us. I love the visual representation of what Bungie gives us, and on the fly loadout swapping that is still the best because you don't have to be in orbit but as far as just holding all of your best loadouts dim is by far the number one tool for that and what i especially like is the ability to just clear you can literally just clear right here in dim then the next tip to use is hashtags this being present in the notes sections of our loadouts if you use these you can essentially give them tags like we did with our weapons and armor all of these tags will show up here at the top and make loadout organization a breeze especially if you're like me and you have way too many you can also use the search bar at the top and filter through your save loadouts like you filter through normal items. Now, moving on to some more miscellaneous things in Destiny Item Manager. These make life a little bit easier. First is the progress tab. This shows us how we're faring across a bunch of different stuff. It could show you your track triumphs, pathfinders, seasonal challenges, raid progress, and more. Next, we have the vendor tab, which allows us to check in on every single vendor in the game. We can see what Zer and Banshee are selling without needing to even visit them. You can also use the search bar to filter out what vendors are offering. If you're looking for something specific. Then we have the records tab, which holds pretty much every checklist in the game. You can look at seasonal challenges, triumphs, titles, your whole collections, badges, stat trackers, legacy triumphs, and titles, medals, patterns, catalysts, lore, guardian ranks, and even unlock cosmetics. The main thing I look at here really is the pattern section. This allows me to keep tabs on whatever it is that I need to get crafted. Other helpful things Dim does is like over here in the inventory tab. We can hover over this to see all of our ingrams and resources across our our accounts. Then you can also click on the three dots on your character to open up a condensed version of the loadout tab. But here you can also equip your max power. Literally, press up a button, boom, max power. 
or you can even turn on farming mode. Now, this is just a tool that allows you to keep at least one spot open in each of our slots to ensure nothing goes to the pose master. And you can even increase the spaces left open in this mode over in the settings, which is done with this drop down here. Now, since we're right here in the settings, this is where we're going to cover our last dim tips. Here at the very top, you can choose the look of dim with various color schemes. You can even alter how big items look across the app. And the big one you can change is how things are sorted. This is a change I recently made to my own dim. If you use this drop down to change how weapons are grouped, you can get a very different experience for scrolling through dim. I personally like having my weapons grouped by ammo type or just type. This allows me to find weapons easier without having to touch the search bar. And if you toggle this here, you can have the groups distinctly separate. And then below that, we have sorting settings, which allows us to change the hierarchy of how each item is displayed in order. Now, the default setting is pretty good, but you can customize it how you like. One way that I'm fond of is having rarity be the top option with type just under it. So I don't have exotics and legendaries being mixed. The rest of the setting includes some lesser used things like what orientation perks are displayed, whether you want tags to lock items or how you want the layout of dim to be personalized. Fellas, if any of this is overwhelming you, timestamps are present down below as well as commands and links to all of these websites. Destiny 2 is a massive game and I couldn't imagine trying to manage everything within Destiny alone. I need these tools, these websites, these commands, these things make life so much easier. So despite looking at this thinking, man, that looks like a headache, I promise you in the long run, it will make life so much better. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.